and welcome to Ask a Paleontologist. I'm Dr. Scott Persons, and this question comes to us once again from the Shelf Life Bookstore in Calgary. And it asks, how fast did T. rex grow? Well, the best way to get an idea of how fast a particular dinosaur grew is with some of these. These are bone histology slides, and they're made by actually taking a slice out of a dinosaur bone, a thin slice, and gluing it onto a glass slide. Then you grind the bone down until it's so thin you can actually see through it. You stick it under a microscope, and that gives you an inside view of a dinosaur skeleton, and an inside view into how that skeleton grew. Now, of course, as dinosaurs grew up, their skeletons had to get bigger and bigger in order to support them. If you take a look at a histology slide, you can see that that growth was at times erratic. Notice that there are portions where you've got a lot of bone spread out with a lot of holes in it. And there are other places where the bone is very, very tightly compact. It's, it's very, very dense. In fact, you'll see that those dense layers of bone occur throughout it in these long rings around the bone. We call these lines of arrested growth. Now, in that way, dinosaur bone is kind of similar to a tree trunk. You probably know that if you cut down a tree and you count the rings from the inside out, that'll tell you how many years old the tree was when you chopped it down. And that's because those rings form during periods when the tree is growing very, very slowly, which occur annually, usually during winter. And the same is true for those lines of arrested growth inside a dinosaur bone. They were laid down during periods of slow growth, and we think they were probably tied to the seasons. Maybe during winter, or maybe during a dry season, when there was less food available for the dinosaur to eat and get bigger off of. Okay, so is that it? If you want to know the complete growth history and the age of a dinosaur, all you have to do is cut it open and count the number of lines of arrested growth? No, it's not that simple. And that's because, unlike a tree trunk, dinosaur bones aren't solid all the way through. They're usually pretty gosh darn hollow. And so that means a lot of the lines that had accumulated throughout the early part of the dinosaur's life, they've been removed. The bone has been remodeled. It's been reabsorbed. You only get the last few years recorded only the outer rings. So, in order to figure out the complete growth history of Tyrannosaurus rex, you've got to take histology slides from more than one specimen. You can start out with a great big old adult individual, but then you also need to fill in the gap, a medium-aged individual, and ideally a bunch of young individuals as well. For a lot of dinosaurs, we don't have a complete growth history, because we don't have a lot of the small baby dinosaur bones. Luckily for us, in the case of Tyrannosaurus rex, we do have a pretty good growth series. We've got really, really big adults, we've got middle-aged Tyrannosaurs, we've got some juvenile specimens, and there have even been a few, maybe fairly young Tyrannosaurus specimens found in the range of about two years old. So what does that teach us? Well, if we count the growth rings in one Tyrannosaur, and in another, and another, and we put them all together, we see a growth curve. Tyrannosaurus seems to start out growing a little bit slowly when they're tiny, but then they hit a big growth spurt when they're teenagers, growing far faster than any modern-day reptiles, a growth rate on par with modern birds and mammals, and then once they reach around 20, getting into their 30s, their growth rate peters out, and it becomes very, very slow. So there you go. Trinosaurus rex grew very, very fast early in its life, and it grew very, very slowly towards the end of its life. We're talking about a Trinosaurus rex able to achieve its maximum big adult size around seven, eight tons by the time it's uh, about 23. Thanks for the question. If you've got one for me, leave me a comment below.